Hi guys, it's me, Kathy. Mrs. Handy, are you? With my new fancy microphone. I hope it went well in the last video and you could hear me better. Look at this microphone, I gotta show you. Look at, the, look at this microphone, <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> Cracks me up. Anyway, um, I'm going to do this whole show on our lovely Nancy Drew. I love you, Nancy. Hi, how you doing? So, you know, she answered on my second Nancy Drew decode. She answered one of my, um, you know, she, she commented on the video and I answered her back. So you can look at that and see what we said to each other. Anyway, this is not really a decode on one of her um, shows. This is just in general with the name and everything, like, like choosing the name Nancy Drew. Now, I used to read Nancy Drew books when I was young. Uh, I, I read all these really old books. They were old even, even when I read them. They were like used old blue, navy blue and white kind of books. And she was like leaning over and she had a like a like a what do you call it you know magnifying glass and uh boy i love those books and you know what um they, they were just very interesting books i i won't go into you know what but anyway let's go back to the topic okay um here we have nancy now i'm doing gematria dramatria potato potato like i always say and if you're new now, most of you guys are not new, but if you are new, Demetria is like uh, Bible decoding or coding. You can look at it both ways and you can use it to look at um, different Bible quotes and you can match it up to what other quotes are the same number and you'll find out what you're supposed to be looking at, you know, like this quote is related to that quote. And I mean, it, it's very significant. I mean, it's not a minor thing to be doing this. It's not like a silly thing. Uh, okay. So yeah, Gematria. It's uh, one, A equals one through Z equals 26. And I use gematrix.org. I find that's just the easiest thing for me to use. I know other people do it other ways and that's perfectly fine. So anyway, um, so Nancy, for Nancy Drew, you know, Washington, D.C., our Nancy Drew, who goes around and tells us what, what the scoop is in Washington and what, what fences are up and down and what the Biden is doing. And, you know, I was calling to Biden because it's to me, it's more than one person. And <laughs> anyway, Nancy is 57 guess what? It matches Mary. You know, where I was talking about Mary and Eve, that there's, it's not a coincidence that it's Nancy Drew, okay? Well, Nancy and, and Mary at 57 equal my name, Kathy with a C, but I like to be called Cat lately because I mentioned that my aunt who passed on, I wonder where she is right now, what she's doing. Um, who she is she would call me cat and she was the only one and so i like cat so if anybody wants to call me cat go right ahead so nancy mary and george are 57 that's important remember hello george and uh in our favorite anon posting and uh georgenews.org and he's on telegram and all over so listen, Nancy matches peaches. Do you remember Wanna Safin talked about peaches all the time in uh, his movie, The Called? So he talked about bringing peaches to President Trump, so bringing Mary and Eve, who is the same person in my opinion, to President Trump. Like we're talking about judgment. That's what we're talking about. I'm smiling because I know everything will be fine. You know, don't get upset. 
Everything's going to be fine. Nancy at 57 equals, I did damage. Now, wasn't that an Eagles song, a line in an Eagle? No, was it Eagles? I don't remember. But anyway, I did some damage. I know it's true. You can remember that line? Maybe it was America. I get them confused. I did damage. We're talking about back in Eden and doing things that they shouldn't have done, which we've talked about many times in the past. And that's why there, there'll be judgment. And that's why we have Revelation 11. Sorry, I was second guessing myself. Revelation 11. And the chimera, the whale, whatever this creature is that comes up and takes them off the earth plane. And then they go to double, you know, H-E double hockey sticks, and then they go to heaven, and then they come back, you know, and all that. So I did damage. And I'll be back is 57, which matches Nancy. I'll be back. Like, I'm going away. Like I just said, then I'll be back. Appear, and I am one, meaning all of them together equal one God. Actor. So Nancy at 57 equals actor. You think that's a coincidence? I don't think so. Um, let's see. Chimera. Now, I think it's pronounced chimera. It's C-H-I-M-E-R-A. That's also 57. So we have Nancy and George and Peaches. I did damage and chimera, which all fits into what I've been talking about. I mean, I, I'm, it's not just me, it's from decoding. Like, I, I'm not saying I came up with this on my own. I'm, I'm decoding what Juan or President Trump or whatever has, has said and I've decoded it. So it's, it's not me making it up. Um, oceans is 57, which to me makes sense because the chimera or the whale or whatever this creature is will be in the ocean. I don't think it'll be a river. And yacht is 57. And you know how yacht is so important with the Kennedys. Their, their yacht and uh, remember that movie. What is that movie called? You know, that movie that had all the, the 17th letter phrases in there. I can't think of what it is right now, but put in the comments if you remember the name of it. Boats is 57 and tides. So we have all of these things matching Nancy, okay, which is 57, Mary, all that. It also equals end hate. I think after this incident, or whatever you want to call it, this horrible, bad thing that everybody's going to freak out about and see. It will end hate. End hate matches 57. So I think that's interesting. I think that's really interesting. Um, what else matches? It's so interesting. Oh, this is a funny one. You know, I'm always talking about serious stuff, but you know, we got to go on the funny side sometimes. Uh, do you, anybody remember Archie Bunker? Um, All in the family? I think a lot of you guys are kind of near my age. Although, I, gosh, I would love to get more younger people watching. <laughs> I think it's the gray hair here. You know, the, uh, I get the older group. I'm oh, sorry. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, he would always call Edith. He'd call her dingbat. You dingbat, you know, and he, it was, I guess you could call it a term of endearment, you know? <laughs> But he called her dingbat. Well, that was 57. So I thought that was pretty fun. So what else do we have? Oh, here we go with more 57s. Nancy at 57 equals Adam three times. Adam, Adam, Adam. And it equals England. And call Diana. Diana, yeah, 
we've talked about that before that Melania is a fake, well, CBK was never a real person. Sorry about the train. I have a train near me. <laughs> um, so CBK wasn't a real person. So it looked like John married CBK. And John really married Diana. And that was earlier than that little church wedding off the island, you know, wherever that was off the East Coast. So anyway, we have England and call Diana is 57. I already told you actor, but we have Wink. Okay, we have, we have Wink. Um, we have Jay, I'll, well, I think you'd say, I don't know if you'd say Jack A. I don't know how you'd say it. J-A-C-Q-U-E. And that's the first part of Jacqueline. So that's pretty interesting. And you know, Jacqueline has the letter, the 17th letter right in the middle. And that's not usually how you spell Jacqueline. Um, and let's see, we have the peaches I already told you about. Okay, bad drug. And we've already talked about in the past that um, it certainly sounds like at the cross, they both took, um, or probably maybe a few people, I don't know. Uh, they took medication, poison, whatever you want to call that. And it looked like they passed on because they didn't want to go through the cross. They, they knew what it was going to be like, or they thought they knew, and they didn't want to go through it. And uh, they took this, I guess, poison. I mean, you can look at it as uh, a poison could be like a cure if it's used in the right amount, right? But if it's used in the wrong amount, it's definitely not, not good. Um, so yeah, they took this medication or whatever it was, potion that made them look like they passed on and they didn't. So it looked like they were gone. They were still here. So that means they didn't die for our sins and we're still under the law but it will all be fixed and i've also gotten i forgot to mention in my last video that um it looks like it looks like um everybody that passed on is really kind of it's literally limbo i had that in a decode um so I know it's hard to understand, but you know we we think oh our relatives are here or there, but they're either reincarnated or they're in limbo. I don't understand that part, but I've definitely gotten in limbo, both in limbo. It, that was literally the decode was both in limbo. That kind of means good or bad to me. I don't know what you think. Let me let me know in the comments. I mean, this is not live. You can just stop it and type in whatever you think. Um, so I don't know. I I think that the the judgment will happen all at one time. You know, don't ask me how, but that, I think that kind of is what's going to happen. So I wouldn't worry about being under the law at the moment you know, or for relatives or whatever. And I wonder if you have a choice on whether you can come back or not. I mean, how do I know? I, I don't know. Like, like maybe people have chosen to be in limbo. I, it's, it's who knows. Um, okay, so bad drug. That's what I was just talking about. Crazed, remember back in Eden, especially, you know, the, the um, forbidden fruit wasn't like an apple or something. It was human DNA is the best way I can say it. So crazed, deceived. We've been deceived. Um, mad at me, like I did damage, right, from before. Mad at me. Dilemma, backlash. This is all 57 moon and then in dark oceans tides yacht chimera 
I already mentioned all that, but then we have Omaha Beach is 57. Now, um, there's a picture that you can find online of, there's a famous veteran, I can't think of his name, but it's an older JFK. Oh, at least I think it was JFK, could have been junior, I'm not sure anymore, um, on Omaha Beach over in France. And you can decode the whole picture. And Brian, one of our viewers has, has that as his, uh, I think he still has it, I'm not sure, as his, uh, sorry about the, I keep moving and it goes out of focus. Let's see, is it gonna refocus? What happened? I don't know what happened, I'm blurry. I'm not moving. Is it gonna fix itself? Yeah, let's see, we'll continue. See what happens. You might have to just listen. I don't know. Um, then we have, I am fine. I don't know what happened to the camera. Oh, it got better. Look at that. It's magic. <laughs> I am fine. Matches 57. And then we have Don Kid, like his, his kid, a baby god. I wonder who that was. This whole stupid shirt, I don't know. And um, hat man, like H-A-T and then M-A-N. And that mean, to me, that means uh, Vincent Fusca, who I have my picture with, and I'm sure a lot of you do at this point. Um, and uh, the hat style that he wore is wears is a fedora. And that's the kind of hat that well, off and on at least, President Kennedy would wear. And that's why Vincent Fusca is wearing a fedora. And uh, I mean, President Kennedy also wore a top hat and probably lots of hats, I'm not sure. And um, although at the inauguration, I read that he didn't have a hat on and it hurt the hat industry. So that wasn't good. <laughs> um, maybe he did it on purpose so that when uh, he was planning the uh, 1122 event, it would look more dramatic because there wouldn't be a hat in the way and you would see the whole thing. I bet that was all planned, not wearing a hat at the inauguration. That just hit me. Wow. Um, so Vincent Fusca, right? So VF is uh, 28 and it equals Eden and it equals J.R. or Junior, and it equals dare. Like, I wonder if the dare, I mean, that's the, the non-alcohol type drugs or whatever program they had in school. I don't think they have it anymore. But um, dare, like, were they daring each other in Eden? Or were they daring each other to... Uh, take this potion so it looked like they died. I, I like kind of wonder about that. Um, yeah. What else? What else matches? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I, I won't go into a huge amount more, but 57 is also AE. Now, I, I don't know how to describe it when you have the A. The A isn't like the pyramid. A has like, it's the, the right side of the A, well, the, the right side of the A is straight instead of at an, uh, what you normally would see with an A. I don't even know how to describe it, obviously. And then an E is kind of put together with it. And I think it's Greek. I'm not sure. But it matches A-E-T-H-E-R. Okay. So 57 happens to be a-E-T-H-E-R, okay. And it equals I separately, I-O-N-S. Now, after a broadcast that I was on with Tom, Rachel, and Juan O'Seven, Saven, I try to remember to say Saven because it's not spelled S-E-V-E-N, it's S-A-V-I-N. Um, he talked to to us about a cream that won the, uh, what was it? Oh, not the Pulitzer, that's books. 
ah, whatever. You know, they won this award, Nobel, no, Nobel Prize for Medicine. And it's called A-E-T-H-E-I-O-N. I don't think that's a coincidence that two parts of that same cream that he was telling us about after the video matches Mary and Nancy and George. So A-E-T-H-E-R is 57. I-O-N-S is 57. And so, like I said, the cream is called A-E-T-H-E-I-O-N, not S. And he said it won the Nobel Prize for um, its treatment for cancer. And it's a, it's a cream. I, I bought it and Mr. Handy has brain cancer. I have some stuff on my face that I don't know what's going on, but whatever. So um, I know it's weird to talk about because he, he didn't say it on the video. He, we talked about this afterwards and he said how important, basically how wonderful this cream was. And it wasn't approved by the US FDA likely I'm thinking because it was so effective, you know? So it's quite expensive, it's not cheap. Um, so I think it was $150 or so to get not the top level of medication, but the second one. And it just means use it three times a day instead of twice a day. And um, anyway, this, person, we ended up talking um, on the phone with the person, like a representative, not a representative, but a medical coordinator. And um, he was describing how it works and what to look for and all that. And um, I thought that was really cool. So he talked about everyone that has cancer. He also talked about this after the video, that people with Cancer should be taking ivermectin. Sounds like we're getting infected with, um, I hate to say worms, but you know, parasites, I guess is the better way to put it because they're probably so minuscule you couldn't see them. Um, that everybody should be taking ivermectin and you can also find it, I think uh, wormwood, the supplement, look up the supplement wormwood. W-O-R-M-W-O-O-D. And uh, that's got the properties of ivermectin as far as I know. I mean, you do your own research, obviously. Don't go by what I'm talking about. I'm just giving you something to look into. And I trust one with my life. So maybe you don't, you know, but, but look into this if you're interested. Um, anyway, so that I'm, I got all this from 57 and I think you pronounce this cream Atheon. I'm not, I'm not really sure, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that's the way I pronounce it. Um, yeah, sorry about the noise. I forget the microphone's really supposedly good. I don't know. You guys will let me know if the microphone's good. <laughs> I hope so. Um, and then I did Drew. That was all Nancy at 57. The, the whole thing I just did. Now I'm doing Drew for Nancy Drew. Okay. That's 50 and it equals ladies. There's, I've definitely gotten, uh, well, yeah, was it? Yeah, right here, right here. I got a confirmation um, about the three women, three men theory that I had. Now I was thinking it was, three women, three men separately, but it could also be that one person is acting like, like Melania is acting like herself and she's really two other people like Carolyn and Diana. So it could be like that. Um, so 
anyway, I won't, I won't go into all that, but yeah, true is uh, 50 and ladies, and it equals Selma, which is where the rally was held not long ago in um, not Alabama, but North Carolina. And I, we saw Martin Luther King there. So if you haven't seen that, go and look at it. He's also been in a more recent rally, but I don't have it in front of me. Um, yeah. So let's see. So Jackie, but with a Y, not the I-E. Like I, I would normally write Jackie's, you know, Jacqueline's nickname. So J A C, excuse me, J A C Y is 50. Hi, Diane is 50. Fraud is 50. Sophia, like, like, you know, fraud, like I'm acting like someone else. I'm not who you think I am. Like Nancy Drew. I'm thinking she's Diana, you guys. Right now, I am thinking she's Diana. And like I said before, like with Greg Wagland in his uh, Sherlock Holmes audiobooks, he can sound like anybody he wants. Uh, he could sound like, like I said before, he could sound like he's from New Hampshire. Um, he could sound like he's from another country, whatever. Right now, when he does it, he sounds like he's from Britain, um, UK, whatever you want to call it, England. And yeah, I think it's also, I think it's JFK and Junior, the twins, both doing the Sherlock Holmes videos, uh, audio books. Okay, so Drew at 50 also equals, I am a God. It equals Jack twice. So Jack, Jack, it equals lead man. It equals, this is funny the letter C, the letter Q, 17th letter, and baby, like C, 17th letter, baby. Remember the, the, the 17th letter baby that was held up and it had the, the letter on his back or her back at one of the Trump rallies? And all you have to do, if you are new to this, look up uh, on a search. Um, I'm just going to say it, Q baby. You know, and I'm being really careful because I don't want to get deleted, I guess. That's the, that's the point, you guys. But you probably know that. Um, okay. So Drew at 50 equals Donald. How about this one? I am JFK. Okay. That could be like Jacqueline. Who knows? I, you know, I don't, what is Jacqueline's middle name? I don't know. But just even JFK being in there is important to me, even if she's not really JFK. Um, let's see. Drew at 50 equals Fusca, like Vincent Fusca. Um, and oh, there's so many things I want to say and I can't. Hmm. Um, let's see. In sacred. And uh, it's funny because the anagram of sacred, when you think about it, is scared. So, you know, with the uh, chimera, the whale, whatever the, the beast is the, from Revelation 11, that would make sense, scared, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, 50 equals drug. Remember the drug that the they probably took at the cross instead of like going off into dying at that moment, they, they didn't die. So drug and scared and cluck like a chicken, right? I know it's weird, but um, bad choice, like at the cross and in Eden, right? Um, chose. They chose the outcome, you know, they, they probably knew it would happen, but they, they chose what they did. Um, we died, like in quotes, I put it, a, now it doesn't say an escape, but sometimes these things are not proper English, um, a escape, like they escaped, like I said before, do, like do damage, before I had it in Nancy, it was more like I I did damage, 
this is do damage. Um, C, two times, S-E-A. A lot of things to do with the ocean, which makes me think of the whale, chimera, leviathan, whatever you want to call this. Deckhand, um, wind, oceanic, and rigged. Think about it, all the times that President Trump has said rigged election. Well, rigged like a yacht. Um, remember rig for red? That was the 17th letter post. Uh, let's see. I and me. Moabs, M-O-A-B-S. DNA damage. Let's see. Uh, amazed and a healer. Because honestly, I think after all this happens, everybody will be healed. I mean, I, I know that's probably pie in the sky, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, let's see. Let's see. I won't go into all that. Oh, and it matches corn. Isn't that funny? Now corn. And Jennifer Mack uh, made tons of memes about corn. I've got a feeling Jennifer, I haven't decoded Jennifer Mack's name or anything, but I've got a feeling, I remember Juan did lots of things with Jennifer Mack way back. Uh, got a feeling Jennifer Mack is more than just Jennifer Mack, you know, or the Jennifer Mack. Let's see. So then we do Nancy Drew all together. Her name is 107. And that equals God's queen. Okay, like, like Diana, Jacqueline, I think they were twins. Like, you know, who knows? I don't know. Um, and Archangel, the Messiah, is Yeshua reflection, like, like mirror twins. You know, I just mentioned twins, you know. Um, let's see. Da this is a funny one. Darren John, like, like together, Darren John, D-A-R-R-E-N. And I thought that was funny because in the, the old TV show called, series called Bewitched with, uh, I, and I think she's even in a Clouseau video, Elizabeth Montgomery. I'm pretty sure she's in a Clouseau video. And uh, there was, there was some what I think once, I don't know if it was at the end of a season or even it might have been mid season, but there was a Dar a Darren, which was her her husband in the TV show. His his name was Darren. And then all of a sudden there was another Darren. So another actor played Darren. So that, that's pretty funny. So Darren John, like two Johns like twins. That's, that's the way my mind works. Um, and then we had Tuesday. Remember the, the day that was all twos? Wasn't it? It must have been February 22nd, 2022. That makes sense. I didn't write it down, but T-W-O-S-D-A-Y. So I thought that was an interesting um, mirror image like a twin, like another one, like there's two, two Eves, two Adams, two Christ at the cross, two Marys, two Jesus, I mean, and two Marys. Like, you know, we're supposed to expand our thinking and boy, this is expanding my thinking big time. Um, here's another train. <laughs> um, let's see never left, like didn't die, never left. Uh, life goes on, that's a TV show I know, but life goes on. Um, let's see, Jesus Dawn, that was an interesting one. Adamic DNA, not me, us. Like there's a few, um, the big three. All this matches Nancy Drew, 107, the big three, the wild card, Castle Rock, the movie studio. 
where the other White House is or one of them. Let's see. I am Kronos. Now that's C-H-R-O-N-O-S. And that was a god. And he was named Kronos. And he ate his own children. I looked him up. There's a lot about Kronos. We're talking about in Eden that, that that happened. The human DNA was the forbidden fruit. And here we have I am Kronos matches Nancy Drew, who I think is Diana or maybe Jackie. I don't know. Or both. I don't, I don't know. Um, let's see. Here's a hint. And I feel cursed. Because I think we are kind of, we're not like under grace, which is what a lot of Christian people think of with Jesus at the cross. You're under grace because he died for your sins, but um, we'd be under the law if that didn't happen. At least I think that, you know, that's the way I'm looking at it. Um, okay, we're still doing Nancy Drew 107, 107. We have many bodies. Juicy meat, medium rare, I mean, come on, um, meat market, suicide seal. Now, Juan has said that at the Garden of Eden, that we don't know how upset and how sad and, uh, you know, everything that Adam and Eve, or were there too, uh, were when they had to leave Eden. So I wonder, did they commit that? Was it a suicide seal even back then? I, I wonder about that. So 107 with Nancy Drew is also the cross, holy grail. Um, let's see. Drift away, ahoy mates. We're doomed. Marine time like uh, the ocean, I'm looking at it, all the way, God help us, second beast, sky ship, so I'm, you know, like I've been saying, I think what happens is, is they go down to wherever H-E double hockey sticks is, I, I know it's weird to say it like that, but you know, where that is, and then go to heaven, and then come right back, um, hopefully, uh, Sky ship, it's like a the ship, you know, beam me up, Scotty. I have a video called Beam Me Up Scotty. Um forgiving, because at the end of that, everything's forgiven and free at last. Can you imagine the weight that's lifted off them uh after all this? I can't imagine. Because they're probably feeling guilty for you know, all the things that are going on in the world that, you you know, you blame the evil on. But I wonder if it's just that evil has been allowed to continue because you're not under grace. So I kind of wonder, I don't know. Um, let's see, what else is 107? That's, yeah, mountain, Mount Rainier, that's in uh, near Seattle, um, solar flare, because they're supposed to be, oh no, something's happening that's not good, but I'm not going to stop. There's a, supposed to be like, uh, like some kind of light that they come back on, you know, that, that they, uh, from wherever heaven is, you know, coming back to, coming back to earth. So Let's see, shock wave. And they're supposed to be after this beast event um, in Revelation 11. And I highly recommend you guys read it, um, that there's like a huge earthquake. Now, I think the earthquake will be man-made because of the, what we know about the military and underground and all the 10 kilometers and all that. But either it's real or it's not, I, you know, whatever. Uh, It'll probably look like California fell in the ocean and we'll be watching on our, like I used to say all the time, we'll be watching on our phones and it'll look like a nuclear attack and we'll be on our phones and it'll be really intense. And I, I'll be sitting there going, 
everything's fine. Don't worry. You know, and I'll have a glass of wine. And there. <laughs> anyway, Nancy Drew, Washington, D.C. is 244. It equals, how about this? For Di I'm thinking Diana, right? I command the UK military. Okay, we got the UK in here. Um, else? You know the truth. God's human Adam will be in hell. That's why I think it's more than just Eve, right? I think it's, I think it's, it could be two of each. I don't know. I, I don't know. I like it when you guys put comments and, and you guys say what you think. I really appreciate it because, you know, all it takes is a comment to start somebody thinking about something else and go opening a window, you know, like, oh, what about that? And then you kind of go that way. I, I think that's fun and interesting, you know. The great work completed. So Nancy Drew, Washington, D.C. equals the great work completed. Uh, this is torturing me is also 244. Feminine of the Trinity is 244. Nancy Drew, Washington, D.C. We will see what happens. And President Trump says either we'll, we'll see what happens or we will see what happens. The two witnesses also matches. Oh, this is a sad one. Ruining others' lives. Because if, if you're not under grace and forgiven, you are under the law and you could be ruining other people's lives. And that's where the forgiveness and all, all this eye for an eye and, okay, you killed people, you got to die. That's kind of what I'm talking about. That's where that all comes in. You know, President Trump's favorite Bible phrase, quote, I should say, an eye for an eye. Um, I am bringing order on earth. Let's see, two by two, side by side, all together, two by two, side by side. So I'm thinking, okay, that, that's kind of putting you in the direction of, you know, there's two Eves, two Adams, or also two Marys, two Jesuses. Our Lady of Sorrows, the two appointed ones, perilous experiment, um, learned, you know, the second half of this phrase doesn't make any sense, like granted, but sometimes these things, they don't make sense, and only part of it pertains to what you're talking about. Learn to swim East Fork. Who, who knows what East Fork is, but whatever. Learn to swim, like it's going to be in the ocean or whatever, in the water being attacked. Um, supernatural ability. And how about this one? This all matches Nat Nancy Drew, Washington, D.C., 244. And what an event it will be. We're going to see it. It's not going to just be talked about. It's We're going to see it. Um, that you may be blameless. So it's going to happen. And that we will all be blameless. They will be blameless. And so will we. Sorry about that focus. We're near the end. Um, so Nancy Drew, I think of her as Nancy Drew, uh, Washington, D.C. But if you just do NDDC for Nancy Drew, D.C., it's 25. It equals Jack and J-A-N, like January. And that's the way uh, Junior, JFK, J-R, who I just called Junior. Um, remember, he said January in a very strange way, a special way, I should say, at his mom's funeral. And he said the word January. All you have to do is look for a video clip of, him, of JFK Jr. speaking at his mom's funeral, and you'll hear him say January. Well, Greg Wagland, who is Junior and I think his brother JFK, um, 
said that said January in a very strange way. And that was, and he said it over and over and over again. And that was the very first word he said in this one Sherlock Holmes audiobook. And it was the silver mirror. And uh, it's not really a Sherlock Holmes story, but it's written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So he has several, several audiobooks that are not Sherlock, but they're written by this Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So listen to the way Greg Wagland says January in the Silver Mirror. It's the same way that Junior said it. And everybody said, oh, it's it's him. You know, when when we were listening to uh, Joe Massapo's, uh, what was it called? Oh, gosh, those uh, Joe Massapo's plan to save the world, the plan to save the, the 17th letter, plan to save the world. And when he said January, everybody said, oh my gosh, it's Junior because of the way he said it at his mom's funeral. And then now, like I said, listen to Greg Wagland in uh, The Silver Mirror. And that is some story. You should listen to The Silver Mirror all the way through. Don't just listen for January. That is a good story. And it's based on a, something real that did happen. So you'd really, really enjoy The Silver Mirror. Um, and think mirror. You got twins, right? Junior and JFK, like I was always talking about. Uh, was it last last video? I tried to explain it a little better. Okay, so NDDC25 equals decal, D-E-C-A-L. And Juana Sabin had showed um, different decals, really focused on them on cars at the Mar-a-Lago, it, it was the 2022 Mar-a-Lago car show, which was all scripted. And I have a whole video on that. Um, you should watch that, that's a good one. So 107 and, and the Mar-a-Lago car show decode, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, he showed different decals on cars like the red-winged Pegasus and Esso, which is before Exxon. And uh, so decal matches 25 and a kid, which is what, you know, everybody looks at Junior as, as uh, when he was young, you know, giving this the beautiful salute to his dad, well, his brother, but at the time, you know, he thought it was his dad, whatever. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see. So NDD. I'm sorry, NDDC at 25 equals DJK. And that's like Donald John and John or Jack Kennedy. So you can look at it, but uh, like it's both back to back Donald John and uh, John or Jack Kennedy, DJK. And then it matches I A O, like I am. Alpha Omega, SF for San Francisco, which is like the earthquake situation. And Gale, like G-A-L-E, like oh, the storm and the wind. And I think I'm almost at the end, yeah. So Nancy Drew mentioned, uh, now this is a little bit ago that I decoded this, so it's not a real recent one that she did, but she mentioned, well, anyway, she mentions agents a lot. You know, she talks about, oh, I see agents here and there. She talked about secret service agents and, uh, you know, in her different walks. Well, agent is 47 and that's John. So she means she's saying there's John everywhere. You know, you can look at it that way. And uh, not not too long ago. I mean, it was probably three weeks ago. I don't know. I don't know which video it was, but she kept talking about tan pants that the agents were wearing. And she kept saying, look at those tan pants. Um, look at that, look at, look at all the tan pants everywhere. And uh, so I thought, okay, she said it so many times, tan pants is 105 and it equals divine female, goddess Eve, 
like I've been talking about, I am the Lord, they're all together, right? Combined. Um, brothers, like when the guys, the brothers, St. John's, S-T, St. John's, um, I am a problem is 105. <laughs> Come on, I am a problem. And then we have the swamp that President Trump talks about all the time. Um, and then we have Dirty Diana, okay? And uh, there's a song that Michael Jackson did called Dirty Diana. And there's a video that you can see where uh, she meet, supposedly meets Michael for the first time. I doubt it was the first time. And, uh, and she's asking him, um, she's kind of being flirtatious a little bit. I don't know what you want to call it, but you know, being cute. And she's saying, are you going to play? Are you going to sing? I should say dirty Diana tonight. Um, cause I basically, she really wanted to hear it. And he's saying to her, oh no, that's disrespectful. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sing that. And, uh, so that you can, you can see that where they're interacting. And then you can see Michael on a separate video explaining what they were talking about. So it's kind of like in two different places. And so Dirty Diana comes up for tan pants. I thought that was cool. Anyway, that's it. I'm sorry it took so long. And um, I hope you guys are doing really well. And um, I missed you. I, you know, I know I did a video before this, but I, you know, I missed you guys. I missed hearing your comments and talking and your emails, whatever. I just, I just think having a channel is one of the best things. And I highly encourage anyone who's thinking about doing it to have a channel. I'm sorry about my shirt and everything. And, um, you know, I, I just think it's a, a, a very fulfilling thing in, in interacting with other people, especially if you're by yourself and you're feeling like left out from different friends or family, it's a great way to interact with people and to, you know, just, just talk to people and, and I think you'd love it. So anyway, that's my two cents. And uh, anyway, I do love you guys. And um I don't know. I gotta see if I can stop this recording the right way. Last time I had issues. So anyway, <laughs> bye you guys.